Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry's Mo. I'm the Archangel Ariel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucker responsibilities. And I wanted to do a little quick video real quick about the sun being in Libra and the moon being in Scorpio right now. Now, we all know when the moon is in Scorpio, the moon is falling. So the moon is in its fallen state. The moon, she, she don't know that she's motherfucking having a beautiful dream, um, or she could be having a nightmare dream, or she could be having a, a mundane dream. But right now, she's just having dreams right now. So she's not really in reality. So right now, it may be unaware of how to obtain consciousness so anytime you are unaware of how to obtain consciousness what is consciousness consciousness is everything you see out in front of you the external realm almost to the point your body this this is consciousness all these things everything that's outside of your spirit which is no thing is consciousness so when you don't know how to uh actually correlate these influences things could get chaotic it could put your spirit in a dark place because you get overwhelmed by all these external influences all these things that's in consciousness and when those conscious energies those forces outweigh you when you have a Scorpio moon it could kind of make you shield yourself away from the world you see what I'm saying in certain ways shapes and forms now here's the thing when the Sun is in Libra it modifies that energy a little bit to the point that you don't shield yourself from the world right now you what you present to the world is communicating and relating in some type of way but what's actually going on is things are hidden as far as emotions and feelings these things are not being communicated these things are not being related your true fears and your true desires are not being related so no one so you don't know who to connect to who match your actual fears or have the same type of uh, insecurities you don't know who to relate to who match your same desires who match your same aspirations so it puts you into a, a place where you could be in the space of being amongst a lot of people but still feeling alone in some way shape or form due to the fact of moon being in scorpio sun being a libra at the moment so if you are a sun sign in uh, libra and a moon sign in scorpio you probably know exactly what i'm talking about right now because for an example when it comes to your moon you don't necessarily know how to react and respond to all these influences that you're catching from these people places and things you are around but due to the fact that your son being in Libra it forced you to have to do these things it forced you to show your intellect it forced you to show yourself it forced you to show your vulnerability it forced you to show your incapability so a lot of times this is how you kind of feel like how you can get along with others a lot of times you may feel like the only way you can get along with others is kind of selling yourself short um communicating things that you can't do community communicating things that you're incapable of communicating things that you don't have communicating things that you're not able to get get reach of and a lot of times the way you communicate it it's kind of in a favorable in a light way because it's libra and we know libra is ruled by venus but we know venus don't fuck with Scor scorpio so having that scorpio moon there a lot of times it, it you do these things because that's a sense of security because you'll feel you'll start to feel vulnerable when you express too much martian energy you know what i'm saying mars is opposite to libra period so when you express too much of well i can do this well i'm capable of this or yeah that might be you but this not me when you express too much of that kind of energy um uh, where, where your moon is actually is already there when you filter that through your sun sign a lot of times it, it, it makes it comes across very wrong or it comes across like you don't want to be seen in that way you want to come across as more relatable so a lot of times your way of coming across relatable is being passionately into kind of concealing yourself back you could be very capable of something but you won't tell other people or explain it in that way you explain it in a way of kind of giving another person the energy of you're not that good at it until y'all actually start to do it and then this person can see that Scorpio moon passion uh, do this capability better than anyone can do it and then therefore they had to actually see it in action but other than that as far as you just communicating what you got to offer to the world and things of that nature you're not the gift of God type of person like that you're more of communicating your flaws and things of that nature and hopefully you manifest people who resonate with your same energy who's in a dark space or in a alone space or in like a space that you could kind of see yourself being comfortable in that you don't have to feel vulnerable because this person isn't in a circumstance or situation where it's too many characters in and out of their lives to the point that they're not thinking deeply about things. You could kind of look at this person and be like, okay, this person be in the same kind of space when they are in their alone time, the same way I'm in my alone time. So this is a person I can share my alone time with. And that's how you could kind of correlate things when it comes to your relationships as you being a Libra sun, Scorpio moon. But for the most part, this is what we're all dealing with at the moment we're all going to be dealing with minor energies right now of reacting and responding in ways that we may not be doing it in the in the right way that it's supposed to you know what i'm saying we may be reacting and and we just had the goddamn um new moon so you need to understand that also and anytime we're dealing with the moon being in scorpio this plays out like a full moon so right now we're experiencing new energy 
But anytime we participate in that new energy, we know it's weak because we have to access more of that energy that's actually there because the, the moon is new. So even though we are enticed by new Libra energy because we're still experiencing the, the remnants of it, we are enticed to communicate the way that the way that we may communicate be about some deep things, be about might be some things that only need to be communicated behind about behind closed doors and we may not be seeing that at the at that sense right now so the things that we communicate about behind closed doors may be some stuff that's so overwhelming that it, it may just need to be expressed to someone else externally so it's no longer behind closed doors so you have to be careful this that that tricky energy right now even though it's a new moon the moon is still in scorpio so that plays out like a full moon that if we participate too much into that energy we'll be participating too much into that dream or that nightmare that doesn't necessarily need to be participated in and shit can go haywire but then it's a new moon also so we're still being enticed to communicate about things that we don't necessarily need to dive into so that's that little contradiction right there a little bit when it comes into the uh us having a new moon in Libra, but uh, but then the moon is in Scorpio right now, and so the moon is in its fallen state. So keep that in mind. Uh, fall full. <laughs> that, that is crazy, right? The only thing that changed was the uh, the A and the U. But at the same time, this is what you need to understand. Every anytime something is full. That's when something becomes heavy enough to fall. So understand that too. So it's always going to be back to supported by the same energy signature. Now. When we're getting into the concept of what we're all getting ready to experience, we're all getting ready to experience Pluto going um, direct also. So, you know, with Pluto going direct, it's putting everybody in a circumstance. Uh, um, and what, I think it's going to be October um, October 2nd or 3rd or something like that. Um, we're going to actually go, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to go live about that also. So uh, keep that in mind. But it's, it's basically going to be about the circumstance of the transformations and the power and control issues we've been going through in that area of life. The, the ball is going to start rolling. And we're going to start to see what have been transformed or what, what we've been taking power and control over. We're going to start to see that ball roll in that area of life. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, like I said, if you have planted good seeds, then this is going to mean that um, you're going to witness the manifestations of what you actually got power and control over in that area of life. And if you have planted bad seeds, you're going to actually experience chaos and not having power and control in that area of life. All the way until you go through enough transformations to the point that you learn how to sustain it. And it's going to take other transits and you riding those waves in order to plant good seeds in those moons and those transits. In order for you to rectify all this transformation and this moving forward energy with Pluto. But... We're going to save that for that. But for the most part, like I said, with this right now, in a nutshell, what you're going to be experiencing today and what you're going to get ready to experience for tomorrow, um, you need to understand this is a circumstance and a situation that... Um when we talk about the moon being in Scorpio, right, it's, it's like a fatal attraction with the sun. You So keep that in mind. It's a fatal attraction with the sun. And the moon is opposing Uranus also at the moment. So with the moon opposing Uranus, this is putting us into a circumstance where our individuality, our uniqueness is at odds with how we're reacting and responding to things. We're probably not acting like ourselves right now. We're, we're probably more reacting and responding to our desires, how we feel, how we're reacting and responding to things. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're probably reacting... Um, more to individual things that's not correlated to our own individual space, but our own individual makings and creations. We probably might be reacting more to our ideas about something or our own individual space instead of reacting and responding to what our comfort zones and things of that nature. So we have to keep that in mind. It's like at opposite. The things we're changing and rebelling and opposing against is totally different than the things that we are emotionally connected to right now. They're like the, the things we should be changing and opposing against might not be something that we are emotionally um, investing into to give that energy at the moment. You see what I'm saying? It's like stuff like that. So we have to keep that in mind. And a lot of times with this uh, opposition, when it comes to our uniqueness and when it comes to the way we feel in our comfort zones, which is the moon, that the moon is in Scorpio, um, which is our comfort zone. So our comfort zone is being behind closed doors right now with our emotions and our feelings and how to, the way we react. We may not even be reacting and responding in a way that how we truly feel right now, just for the sake of feeling comfortable and not feeling vulnerable. And then with Uranus being in Taurus, uh, this uniqueness, originality. Um, so right now, everybody 
is expressing their own individual way of being secluded in some way, shape, or form. Whether they're make, whether they're making it relatable due to conversations and communicating, or whether they're just communicating with themselves and staying staying behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? But everybody have their own individual way individual way of doing that right now. And the reason why it becomes opposing is because it can end up being in a scenario or a situation where it's changing, rebelling, or opposing against a person that you may be close to, or changing, rebellious, and opposing against a person that you may not necessarily mean to oppose at the moment just for the sake of being an individual or just wanting to be in your own space at the moment like you ever been in that situation where you don't want to hurt nobody but you don't you don't you don't want these specific people to feel like you're not trying to be around them at the moment but you just need time and space to yourself but there's there's no explanation to why you need time and space to yourself so just you taking time and space to yourself automatically is going to make them think what you don't want them to think you ever been in that kind of situation that's how this plays out right here you see what i'm saying so, uh, keep that in mind with the moon opposing Uranus, and but the moon being in Scorpio and Uranus being in um, Taurus, for that matter. Um, and also, uh, when we talk about, uh, yeah, because we know uh, the moon. Okay, yeah, back back to the moon, because we, we're talking about the moon right now. Now, the moon being in Scorpio, so how you react and respond to things, like I said right now, maybe a little hidden. So try not to come off with an aura like you got a hidden agenda, because you're going to be communicating these things, because the sun is in Libra. So the things that you communicate, you may just communicate in a hidden desire, or you may just communicate a secret by default. Uh, or a secret by accident right now due to the fact of having fun, relationships, trying to be relatable, trying to be passive, trying to be too relatable, trying to be compromising in some type of way. You may just release a secret or or internal desire that may not necessarily need to be released at the moment due to the fact of not knowing how to react to the scenario at the moment. For an example, you may be in a situation where you're around someone who's talking too much, but for the most part, based upon whatever they're talking about, it makes you feel comfortable to start talking. And whatever you're talking about, you start to release things to this person and this person may have a hidden agenda but you weren't you weren't able to pick that up because the influences that you're receiving you don't know how to react and respond to it but you're just reacting and responding to what's being seen which is the conversation aka what's being seen is libra but what's not being seen is scorpio and the moon is in scorpio so the moon falls here so you're not knowing how to react and respond to what's not being seen so you don't know that this person probably could be pulling a wool over your eyes and then but what's being communicated is something that's relatable whatever that they're communicating to you is just they made up these words and put it in a way that it sounds relatable and it sounds comfortable enough to release and, and, and communicate and relate for yourself. So you have to be careful. You could be talking yourself into a dark hole being around the wrong person right now. So keep that in mind or having the wrong kind of conversations. Try not to have the wrong kind of conversations right now. Make sure you stop conversations before they go too deep because conversations that go too deep when the moon goes into goddamn Sagittarius, you're going to be enlightened and have wisdom and all kind of knowledge about all the seeds that you're planting with the moon being in Scorpio. And if there's bad seeds, you're going to have to experience that because that's what Jupiter represents. You're going to have to experience these meanings and reasonings and these wisdom and knowledges that you're coming to conclusions with. So keep that in mind. And this is a little quick short video. Flight boss, bitch. And we're going to get live and direct live tomorrow on this motherfucker to talk about Pluto direct. Um, and and not just Pluto direct, but also get into uh, part two of this Galactic Federation of Light shit in this motherfucker. But yeah, flight boss, bitch, goddamn air. Eee, finish knocking out these NATOs.